Hello, my gorgeous gastronomes and vampires. Welcome to T-Rex Steel City Mukbang. Where will this food journey take you today? Pull up a seat. Let's eat. Hey guys, welcome back to another Thursday Out Loud. How are you doing today, guys? I love you as always. All my subscribers, thank you so much. And to those of you who have not subscribed, please hit, the, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you could be notified every time I upload a new video. Where are we? I'm in my kitchen today. I have my big air conditioner running in the window. And if I go into the studio, it's kind of, the, the feedback is kind of funky. And I definitely can't go into the home style setting because that's where the air conditioner is. Now, this is some homemade tartar sauce. It's light mayo, and I use dill relish because I love dill pickles. Not too crazy about sweet pickles. And Texas Pete, yeah. This is a catfish sandwich. Actually, I used swai, which is in the catfish family. It's a filet, and look how big and delicious it looks, guys. Catfish swai hoagie. That's what this is. It's a hoagie. I don't know if you call them hoagies where you're at. I don't know how to bite this. But we call them hoagies here in Pittsburgh. So, mmm. Ooh. Hot. Huh. It's still hot. Mmm. <clears throat> Anyway, guys, I'm going to start right in on the topic because I'm frustrated at this point. I am. Week number three, third mass shooting in three weeks. What are we going? What are we doing? What's going on? What is going on? Now, I had stayed away from the political side of this because of being heartbroken over the people that are losing their lives and the kids and stuff. Now I'm mad. I mean, I was mad before, but today I'm using this platform to speak out. Now I have 5,000 people on here, okay? Almost. That's the milestone we're driving for. But very close. It's not a lot, but it's enough that if you take this message today and share it, we can reach 10,000. That 10,000 can reach 100,000. That 100,000 can reach a million. So please share this message today. I don't even care if I get mon monetized. If YouTube wants to say that it's too political, then oh well. They can do that. I don't care. I have 80,000 people on TikTok. But if I try to put this message on TikTok, they're going to silence my First Amendment right. They will not push out the video. They're very big on censoring people. On TikTok for the record we have some bloodthirsty power hungry savages in Congress the Senate who won't look at these bills to limit access to assault rifles. That's all we need to do. Limit the access. You know, ban the access to assault rifles. We, we don't need those. We don't need assault rifles. You can protect yourself with a handgun. 
even a semi-automatic can protect yourself with that you don't need weapons of mass destruction to defend yourself against a pickpocket or a house burglar you know you don't what are you doing with these guns what are you doing with these assault rifles if they don't plan on banning assault rifles they at least need to update the purchasing process, the power, the purchasing power. They need extensive background checks, extensive. They need to do psychological tests. If you can't come to the gun store to buy an assault weapon, Without your paperwork showing that you're not crazy, you can't get one until you do. You're going to have to get a psychological exam and then come back. And then there needs to be a waiting period, five to seven days, something, three to five days, before you just hand these people, random people, assault weapons. I'm speaking about Tulsa today. We've been through Buffalo. We've been through Uvalde. Which we don't even talk about the yellow belly cops down there. I'm not even going there. Don't need a cop in Uvalde. Don't need one. Because if you do, the only way they're coming is if you're an unarmed black man. So, and then they'll do something. But, I digress. Did I say that? Yes, I did. If they don't want to do the extensive checks at purchase and they don't want to, if they don't do those extensive, you know, if they plan on doing nothing with assault weapons, if they plan on doing nothing, then they need to do those types of checks. If they're going to ban assault weapons, then they can leave the background checked as it is. One or the other. You know, I'm getting pretty disgusted, as is most of America. Even, even other countries are looking at us and shaking their heads and wagging their fingers. I don't blame them. I swear, I hope I don't have to speak about another mass shooting on next Thursday out loud. I want to bring it a little closer to home. Tell you about a shooting here, Pittsburgh. It wasn't a mass shooting, but it's on the same scale as what happened in Uvalde because what I'm about to tell you involves a child. So even though it was just a single shooting, because it was a baby, puts it on the same scale for me. One baby, 19 babies, it's babies. Last weekend, the beginning of Memorial Day holiday kickoff, families downtown celebrating some idiot in a car, has a beef with another idiot in a car. I don't mean like road rage incident. I'm talking about the two knew each other and they were had been fighting. So one idiot decides he's going to shoot the other. 
in his car. He didn't hit the person that he wanted to hit. He shot the one-year-old little boy passenger in the car. In a car seat, harmless, helpless, hopeless. To survive. Kid died instantly. Brings me to another point. If you're not going to keep these guns away from these idiots, they also need to show up at the gun store with a certificate showing that they've been to a gun safety course and taken shooting lessons. I mean, hey, if you're going to let them run around and just randomly shoot anybody, make sure they shoot the right person and not the harmless baby. I know that sounds crazy, but that's like what the Senate is doing, what the Congress is doing. They're letting people just run around, amok, run amok, shooting whoever, whenever, wherever. If you're aiming for a specific person, don't shoot a kid. I mean, I prefer you don't shoot anyone, but I mean, if you're going to let them have these guns, if you're going to let them have them, they need to prove they can shoot them. Plain and simple. I'm fired up today. I'm, I don't even really have anything else to say about it. Not right now. This is some thick bread. It's French bread. I don't need a lot of bread. I wanted it more or less because it looked pretty for a sandwich. A hoagie. Bloodthirsty, money hungry, power seeking savages. Congress. <laughs>